Oh, hey, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today we are going out to the farm and we're going to check on the pond. And during that, we are also going to be doing some puppy training. We are trying to get them ready for field trial season and they will be competing in their first field trials ever here in a little bit. So we are out there, we're letting them run, we're letting them cool off, and we're letting them try to find wild birds. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber and you've been following this stuff, um, you can tell how passionate we are about getting these puppies uh, ready for field trial season. If you missed the past puppy video, I will leave a link down in the description below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and don't mess out on any upcoming content. Just click that button right there. And uh, let's get started and I'll see you at the end of the episode. All right, Kelly's gonna explain how we are training Duck right now. So Duck has developed this habit. Um, we call it trailing. And what that is, is where we have um, a dog who likes to pursue other dogs. It just essentially is chasing. Um, sometimes they'll bark or yip out of excitement um, and so at seven months old we don't want this to become a habit so there he is good boy um, so I've put it I've done an e-collar introduction with him and now what we're doing is basically um, applying pressure tapping on his shoulder we're just trying to teach him that this is an undesirable behavior we're discouraging it and hopefully we can make sure that that doesn't become a lifelong habit for him because the idea is that we want this dog to go out and um, work individually um, to find birds and run and such. So he's kind of paying attention to Breeze here. He's just following her around and if he pursues her right now, I'll just apply a little bit of pressure on him. Yep. Hey bud. Here's Griffin. Good boy. Think I can jump? I made it. But I went down to more level. Is that smiley? Yeah. She ran she ran up the creek. Come here. Smiley or duck? Duck. Smiley, duck, smiley. I can't tell. Come here. Hey, hey. Now we're taking all the dogs to the pond because it's a little hot out, it's not too bad. And we're gonna let them cool off in here. Plus it's one of their favorite activities. Jumping in the water and swimming around and chasing each other. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I've been uh, stocking this pond with some bluegill and sunfish. And eventually I'm going to be putting some bass in here. So uh, go check that video out. There'll be a link in the description below. And uh, also some more puppy swimming. Shandy? There's a frog. Oh, 
Ew. Yeah, right, <laughs> so guys, this is duck. This is a litter from Reason. And so is Smiley diving in right there. The one flopping his legs out there, it's not the best swimmer, his name's Griffin. And this is his sister, Breeze, who is actually a really good swimmer. And then, oh yeah, there's Shandy over there. She's just the older dog doing her own thing. Chasing dragonflies. Oh, did she just eat a toad? Did you no, see that? It looked like it jumped right in her mouth. I see the toad now. It's a big one. I shouldn't say toad, I should say bullfrog, because that's what they are. Breeze is chasing dragonflies. Eating that. Quit eating that. Oh, oh. Let's go. He got in trouble for chasing him now. He's like, I don't really know. Chasing dogs and getting in trouble. Duck's chasing a little bit. She's going to correct him. if he keeps it up. When doing field trialing, you really want your, your dog to kind of do its own thing and run the hills far off in the distance and work the tree lines and stay pretty independent and not chase the other dog that's on course and do its own thing. So it's just really important that we get Smiley to do this because he's, he's a little baby boy right now. Or duck, yeah, duck's a little baby boy right now. Come on. Let's try to keep him from jumping on me. I know, but every time you touch him, it's a reward for him. Yep! Go! Go! Breeze is the wipeout queen. She wiped out the other day pretty bad on a stick. There's another wipeout. Puppies are pretty clumsy at this stage. They'll grow out of it and get a little better and jump those ditches a little bit better when they're older. So this area up here, we have this area up ahead where we have usually find birds this time of year young adults, you know, babies from this season that are um, really prone to taking cover in this this area to your left. And all throughout this, there's a food plot down below that really does well for feeding them. And um, plenty, of, plenty of food, lots of grasshoppers. Um, but it's really been well known for us to produce birds every year with these dogs we really want them to go into the cover which they're kind of not doing right now they're running alongside of it so Kelly's going in there trying to get them to go in there and see if they can smell any kind of quail in there there goes Griffin thing about quails they like to run on the ground so 
sometimes it makes it pretty hard to find them if uh, they get spooked and start running. The reason that I'll call out to them and whistle um, is because I want the dogs to learn to pay attention to my voice so they can figure out where I am and work accordingly. When I turn, or when we're in thick stuff, I'll often call out just to give the dogs an idea that, hey, something's happening, I mean, it's turning or it's getting thick in here, just so they can kind of hone in on me and keep tabs on where I am. So anytime I turn or I go through a pocket or a cut, I'm going to really give them an indication that I'm turning. And when you're quiet, when you don't sing out, they tend to come look for you. So, um, you know, it's been quiet for a little bit. They'll, they'll realize they haven't heard from me and they'll want to come find me. And that's an important factor also. So, duck! No. Don't eat grass. You guys are wondering about ticks. Yes, they are an issue. But we have really good tick collars on these puppies, so we've never seen one stay alive with these tick collars on. Uh, if we don't have them on, they, it gets pretty bad, but these tick collars are definitely worth the money. Brazy, brazy. Griffin! Griffin, my dude! Griffin, my dude! As many of you may or may not know the reason we let them swim so much is their body temperature heats up and they get really hot because they don't sweat like we do so we got to let them dip off into the pond cool off get a drink and try not to overrun them to uh, keep their body temperatures down Alright guys, between the running and the swimming, they're getting pretty tired. So they don't quite run as big when they're tired because they're young. So we'll be heading back to the van here in a little bit. Bree, swim by herself again. Okay, so this one swimming away from us right here is Smiley, and she is the female out of Fred Bread to Reason. And right across from her, coming towards us, is Duck, and that's the brother from that litter. And um, he is kind of the puppy I ended up keeping, not by choice, but it just sort of happened. So um, we'll see how that goes. And on the right over here. Wait, how old are they? Oh, they're seven months old. They were born on the 13th of January. And then on the right over there, on the left I have Griffin. And the right I have Breeze. And those are litter mates. Out of Reason's sister named River. Bred to um, a dog named Barney from Maine. So, and they were born in early December. So they are just about... I guess they're nine months old now. And that's Shandy. She's the token Vishla of the house. Huh. And um, she is... She'll be four in October. And um, she's the pet. The pet of the family. A very spoiled pet. Hey! Hey! Come on! Their time is over. Go. Come on. Ew.
Oh God. How bad? It's bad. Especially when the dogs fling it all over you. That vulture is circling them. It's like, are they dead yet? Have you murdered your puppy? No, we haven't. Hey guys, I want to do a quick introduction to our horses. This right here is Tara. She was a pretty much a rescue horse. Saved her out of a kill pen. This is Biscuit. He's uh, more of my horse. It's the one I usually ride. Uh, and he is very, very friendly, aren't you? Just not when you're eating. Okay, maybe you are friendly. You guys are dirty, it's been raining a lot, huh? And then, that's Melody. She, uh, doesn't, she's not, she's not very sociable. She doesn't like to be caught, but that's more Kelly's horse. Uh, Kelly rides her a lot. And I kind of ride Tara and Biscuit a lot, so. Tara and Biscuit are pretty tall. They're, they're like 16 hands or so. So, really hard to jump up on, aren't you? Aren't you? See, I told you this guy's pretty friendly. Maybe they're 15 hands. I'll have to ask Kelly. That's the horses, guys. This is our horse trailer right here. This is our horse trailer right here. I'm not gonna walk through that today because it needs cleaned up quite a bit. And we had a rock break our window the other day, so we need to take that in and get it fixed. But it's a three horse trailer got a front tack with a bunk that I made in there and we recently installed this power jack right here so I was right Melody's 15 hands Tara and Biscuit are 16 hands all right guys we're letting reason run right now she's been in heat so we have to run her by herself and with Shandy Shandy's female uh, she's been in her crate quite a bit so she's really cooped up and ready to run and get some exercise and Kelly just whistled into my shot and practically ruined all that so cut take seven let's do it again come on why'd you do that for What you got there? He's very proud of it. What is that? You should uh, let that go. I don't want to touch it. Come here, drop, drop it. Drop it. Drop. Drop it. It's some kind of rodent with drop a tail. It. Drop. Drop it, Shandy. Drop it. I don't want to touch it. No. Good girl. Yeah, you're so happy. Good. Looks like that might be a possum. Did you see the tail on it, though? Hey, guys. This uh, tree got stuck by lightning the other day. Pretty crazy. Put a lot of, like, streaks up through the branches here. These brown streaks. All right, guys. We had to cut reasons time pretty short uh, the Sun came up and started getting real hot and we had to uh, finish her exercise and get her back in the van and cool off so like I said at the beginning of this video the reason we're doing all this training right now is we're getting ready for field trial season and the puppies are going to be entered in some derbies and some puppy stakes so stay tuned for that you can see them get their feet wet and 
see how they can handle other puppy competition on course. So I will have a video on that coming up very soon. Another item is uh, we need a name for that pond. Uh, that way I don't refer to it as the pond. If you guys have any good pond names, leave them down in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outside and keep puppy training. I'll catch you guys later.